Soy milk is a popular dairy-free milk alternative that's really high in protein and really easy to make at home in the Vibe Blender. We'll show you how to turn organic whole soybeans into a drinkable product in a few easy steps. So I've just got some whole organic dried soybeans here. To make them more digestible, we need to soak them overnight in water. It's important to know that you can't eat soybeans raw. So once we've blended them up, before it's drinkable, we need to cook out the milk. To prepare the soybeans, it's just a matter of pouring half a cup into a bowl and covering them with water. You just need to leave them overnight at room temperature. They'll rehydrate and increase in volume and they'll be good to go the next morning. So here's our soaked soybeans. All I need to do now is strain off the liquid and we'll be ready to blend them up. Give them a quick rinse under cold water and then you can put them straight into the blender jar. Then go in with four cups of cold water. If you wanted to sweeten your milk, then dates, honey or maple syrup work really nicely. You can add that in right now. And if you wanted to add any flavors, then cacao or vanilla are really nice options too. So now I can blend this up for around 40 seconds on smoothie mode. So that's all done now. All I need to do is pass it through a nut bag or a muslin cloth. These ones here come with the Vibe Blender. So just squeeze the milk through the bag. You want to get as much as you can out and then you can just discard the pulp or compost it if you like. So once you've squeezed as much liquid through as possible, pour it into a pot and we're going to bring it to a boil and hold it at around 100 degrees Celsius or 212 Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. While the milk is on the boil, just skim off the foam with a spoon and then after about 20 minutes, pass it through a sieve into a clean bowl and let it cool right down. Once it's completely cooled down, you can then pour it straight into a sterilized jug. This one has made us about a liter of milk. If you wanted to make a little bit more, then blending it in batches is the best way to go. This can now go straight into the fridge where it'll keep for up to three to four days. So there you go, you can see how simple it really is to make your own soy milk at home. Have a play around with different sweeteners or flavors to get it tasting just the way you like it. So that's it for this week. If you want a little bit more information on this process or how to make other alternative milks, check out the blog post or our other videos and I'll link some of that below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and we'll catch you again next week.